Hey, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, the difference a day makes. I was relying a little bit on a couple of backups, and then today, the sun came back out. Everything's real good. So this system did wake me up at about 3.30 this morning, chirping low voltage disconnect. <laughs> Uh, and I, I didn't even bother hooking up anything else. I knew the refrigerator was off. I went back to bed and said, I'll get to it in a few hours. I'm going to sleep. So anyway, today the sun came out and bam, from being drained, I'm up to 51%, 700 watts of solar going in there. Everything's looking very, very nice. Uh, and when I did crawl out of bed, I hide that refrigerator freezer into this system which I've showed you guys and if we look at the app on this I can tell you that it was at 100% when I plugged it in first thing this morning been running all day it's late in the afternoon now and it's down to 90% so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave it plugged into there I don't care if I drain that battery down it's gonna last well throughout the night into tomorrow but I'm still gonna give that 48 volt system a break until I get it 100% full and everything balanced out. And if you remember, oh, months ago, I was having trouble getting this up to a full spec charge uh, only because the voltage, once I got up to 56 volts, uh, that inverter never liked it. So then I started tweaking my charge controller lower and lower and lower to just have everything keep running but now i'm going to leave that inverter off and looking at the app for this system which you can see end of the charging day got a good charge but i'm resetting the charging parameters so i went back into the charge controller and set the battery preset there to smart lithium iron phosphate is how it's labeled and now you can see I'm going to drive it up to 56.8 volts for absorption, floated at 54. So, yeah, I had set some, you know, of my own parameters on there just to keep this thing from chirping. But this thing hasn't been charged up to 56.8 in a very long time. And that's what this battery, I believe, wants <laughs> after not having that done for so long. And then I know I will have balanced all the cells. So I'm going to let that go like that for until it does all of that. And in the meantime, I'm going to just go ahead and rely on that backup to run the refrigerator freezer. And that's the way I can do it just by shutting that inverter off and then the battery will charge up no problem. So yeah, I'm going to take advantage of doing that now. And in the meantime, I was also running my coffee maker in the morning off of that 48 volt battery as well as this refrigerator. And I did use the backup for this. And that was just this little <clears throat> portable power station, 1800 watt from Opus. And I'm sitting at 93%. I'd taken it down making coffee. It was started at 97, took it down to about 87 by the time I was done with my coffee, 87%. And then with what solar's tied into that, brought it up to that, and that's where it will stay. So I'm good. I can run the coffee maker, you know, until I get that 48 volt charged back up. And other than that, everything else is just running fine. The chin system got up to 100% today, so uh, plenty of power, plenty of power. And I've experienced some of the darker days that I would experience this time of year. So yeah, just a few extra batteries uh, keeps everything moving right along. Now, in the old days, I'd been firing up a generator when my systems got low or if I ever got LVD, low voltage disconnect. Um, you know, I was, always had a backup generator and plenty of gas for that kind of a situation. And that's the difference. I don't have to do that anymore. A few batteries and, and how, how many gallons of gas uh, would it take till you paid for a few batteries at the price that they are now so but you know I grew up with generator backup all the time gas wasn't the price that it is now of course 
So yeah, times have changed and things are way easier with just a few extra batteries, especially if you're living on batteries. I live on batteries 100% for all of my supplemental power, for everything that I do out here, I'm living on batteries and I don't miss a beat. So yeah, for some perspective, 30 gallons of gas out here would buy you a 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. So doesn't take much to burn through 30 gallons of gas if you're relying on that for any kind of power. So yeah, roughly 30 gallons is all you would have to buy. And for that same money, you could have a battery that will last for years. When you get to be older, you have a lot of different perspective. I remember when gas was 25 cents a gallon. <laughs> And so it was a pack of cigarettes. <laughs> well, I was sitting up on the lot Lanai a minute ago thinking about just doing this little quick follow-up. And I had something so important I wanted to say. I thought it was enlightening. And darn if I can remember it. <laughs> that happens too when you get older. And I'm not very happy about that. All right, you guys. Aloha. <laughs>